guys, what's going on? Uh, real quick, today is the day we're gonna do the drawing for the free t-shirt. Um, everybody was told that if you got on that certain video and would just comment on it, that you would like to subscribe with a size, we would uh, put your name in a hat and we'd be doing a drawing when we got to a certain number of subscribers, well, we're at that number now. And uh, so today's the day we're going to do the drawing. On this video, uh, you're also going to see mom. Last night we uh, went down to Thunder Valley to uh, watch a race. Uh, we, we're we're too, too smart now to take our cars down there because, uh, man, that place is a uh, good racing surface. Uh, it just has some favorites. And, you know, as well as, you know, if you've ever raced, you understand it's hard to win a race, you know, by beating officials and the other cars. So, anyways, we went down there to watch. Mom uh, decided she was going to ride shotgun in a Hunter Holloway's factory stock. She, uh, she got in it, and the very first lap of the heat race, they're coming out of turn two. Um... Car spins in front of him. Hunter attempts to dodge it, hits his brakes. Car gets up under Hunter, just a, you know, just a racing incident, and car goes flipping. So, mom has officially done something that me or dad, neither one has done, and that is flipped a race car. And I hope that I never flip one, but uh, she actually said it was pretty fun. So, she's a little crazier than we are. But anyhow, guys, uh, I'm gonna say all the names. And then I'll show y'all me balling them up and I'm gonna put them in the old helmet there. So I wanna make sure everybody knows this is just as fair as fair it gets. All right, let's see here. I can see this. We got a Mr. Tom King. They're backwards, I think, because the way the camera is. Fleming Family Racing. Hey, shout out to Fleming Family Racing. Good guys, excellent guys. All right, we got, uh, let's see, Clay Montgomery. Mr. Billy Taylor. Michael Barrett. Bradley Townsend. Mr. Junior Welchel. Justin Livingood. And Logan Dupois. I think that's how I pronounce it. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I hope that's how it's done. <laughs> uh, so here's what I'm gonna do. Here's the helmet. As y'all can tell, it's empty, nothing in it. Empty helmet. All right. Mr. Tom King getting balled up, through in it. Clay Montgomery. Balled up, threw in it. Fleming Family Racing. Billy Taylor. Junior Welchel. Bradley Townsend. Michael Barrett. Logan Dupois, also known as Cajun Racing, drives number seven street stock. Thank you for your support. Uh, Mr. Justin Le Living Good. All right, they're all in the hat here. I'm surprised I didn't have more than this. I don't guess people like my shirts. All right, I'm going to mix them up. Here, I'll turn it this way. You can see kind of the inside of it. All right, I ain't going to look. I got one. Uh oh. Dropped it. Dropped it again. Billy Taylor. Congratulations, bud. Uh, get with us by email or just comment whatever your information is give us a uh, a good 
physical address so we can ship the t-shirt to and hopefully the shirts for everybody who's ordered one i uh, just talked to my guy today he says he's been out of town on a three-day race so he's kind of a little bit behind hopefully uh he can get them shirts out within the next week he'll give them to me he's uh, he's actually based out of south carolina so uh he'll have to ship them to me once i get them uh, everybody who's bought one i'll bring them to the races or whatever i need to do to uh, to meet you with yours and then mr billy taylor you have won a free one so you give me a good physical address i will ship you yours free of charge um also i'd like to give a quick shout out to uh them minor boys uh I've been doing some speaking with uh, Heath Miner, um, and he's kind of helped me pick up a few things on the, on the car that uh, otherwise I might not know. I mean, I'm like I said, I'm learning. So anybody who wants to contact me to help, absolutely, I will take any advice anybody wants to give me. Also, uh, I've been in the, the work speaking with Mr. Hunter Holloway, drives the number 11 factory stock. He, uh, he had a high roller uh, street stock that he had sold. Um, he's gonna get behind the wheel of mine and he's gonna drive this one a few times this year. So I uh, look forward to seeing that. And uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoy the video. Mr. Billy Taylor, congratulations. And I will get that shirt to you, sir. All right, guys, thank y'all. Remember, hey, like and subscribe to the videos. We have a lot more coming this season. So thank y'all. Hey, folks. It's, uh... This chase, Papa Alfred is coming to you on the house. Uh, here the lawnmower in the background has to get scratch cut. I'm beautiful, wow, because on the mower. And cut our grass. She's over at uh, my mom and dad's cutting the front yard. We, we try to help them out when we can. Uh, don't do near enough for them, but we try what we can. Man, between work for grandkids, time is time is precious these days. Anyway, uh, just gonna catch y'all up to date. None of us raced last night. Uh, I didn't race. Shane didn't race. Uh, uh, Tori or Blake, neither one raced. Let's see. I don't know if Tori went and watched the race anywhere or not. Now me and Shane and, and Blake and our families, we all went to uh, Thunder Valley, a track that I used to run at a lot. Have won a lot of races up there. Run well at the valley. Uh, would like to return to the valley. But I was seriously thinking about returning possibly as soon as possible, as soon as next week or the week after, you know, if uh, Columbus don't run next week, the bull ring course. I was going to be at the valley running. Uh, I done made my mind up. Went up there last night. Just a little short up to date deal. My wife wanted to ride in one, do a ride along. And uh, been wanting to for a while. Well, good buddy of mine, Hunter Holloway, a lot of y'all know. If you don't know, you've heard his name because. He, he's a, uh, he's been racing several years. He did race street stock class, won a lot of races. He's a good driver, technical driver, young guy. And uh, his dad is the one that I bought the car from, Jeff Holloway, which, you know, I looked up to as I was coming up as a kid. He's several years older than me, not a ton, several years older than me, but he was racing at a young age and when I was 10, 11, 12, 13, coming up as a kid, man, we would go to track on Saturday night, and that's where I watched. I was, I was the biggest Jeff Holloway fan you ever seen, you know, which they live a mile and a half from me. But I grew up watching Jeff and uh, looked up to Jeff a lot. Still do. Hey, I still do. In fact, on this car here, the tank still has his number 11 Holloway on it. And uh, people have made the remark, man, you ain't gonna take it off? Hell no. You know, it's part of, hey, that's part of him on the car, man. It's uh, part of the guy I looked up to. So, uh, no, I ain't taking it off. Anyway, long story short, Hunter built a factory stock to run 
where he could run a two-seater. And uh, his sisters rode with him, and then a guy that I think sponsored him, or gonna sponsor him, rode with him. And Shannon made a remark earlier this year, hey, I wanna ride along one night. Well, he gives us a call and says, hey, what you doing, y'all coming? And uh, he said, I need I need a rider. My rider fell through, so Shannon was like, I'm game. So we go up there, she puts on suit, gets helmet on, I get her strapped in the car, ready for the heat race. I think I'm more nervous than she is. Well, I know I am. She's not nervous, feeling good. And I feel good about it. Uh, anyway, go out for the heat race. Man, right after they fire, I mean, they're racing like they race for 50K out there, baby. Which, when you end up three quarters of the pack back, you got to go, you know this, in order to have a shot for the feature, because the way they finished the heat, the lineup for the feature, you got to finish well in your heat. They had two heats in factory stock. Well, Hunter's making his way through, and we hadn't got to the first turn. He then got around two cars or so. You know, cars handling good, hooking good, hard, it's rolling. Come through the first turn, man, they on fire. Coming down the back stretch there. One of the, uh, I don't know, second, third, fourth place car somewhere in there, hooks another car, turns the car sideways, dead in front of him, dead in front of him. They wouldn't know where to go. Uh, next thing I know, I see the car sideways. Next thing I know, of course, everybody in the back's checking up. Hunter's trying to slow down, shoot the guy out. Car behind him, don't know what's going on because you can't see. I've been there, done it. Uh, he clips Hunter in the rear accidentally, which somehow I don't know why the car did it. I don't know what caught it, whether it's a running track, what had. But anyway, car got up in the air. When you get up in the air, it ain't good. Car got up in there and went to flip it. The car that got hooked and turned sideways to begin this whole melee of instance, he gets to flip it. I think he just turned over one time. Now, Hunter and my wife, really, I don't know how many times they flip. Most people say three. I think, I think actually twice, but I don't know. I really don't. They flip too many times. They flipped enough that both sides of the hunter's car on the top is bent. So they flip. I know, I'm pretty sure twice, possibly three, I don't know. But uh, it bent his halo just a shade on the race car, but it bent the frame on the right front. I'm talking about bent the frame. Bent it in front of the, uh, in front of the A-arm, bent it behind the A-arm, broke shocks off the rear. I mean, just, it tore the car up, so the car towed. Uh, Hunter said he wasn't gonna try to get the frame pulled and, and fix it. As of last night, he had said he wasn't gonna try to fix it. Cause, you know, with the halo, any bend in the halo, he said he just did not feel safe driving it again, and I get it. So uh, whether he's fixed or not, that's up to him. But uh, I told him a while ago, I got a couple, I got a couple cars stashed that I've had for past 30, 35 years, them behind my mom and dad's. I got a Regal and a, and a Monte Carlo back there. Back when I raced 25 years ago, I put up just in case. And uh, But I told him, I said, man, if you want to build another car, hey, come get one, it's yours. So we'll see about that, but she had a ball. I'm gonna tell you, neither one of them was hurt. That's a good thing. Both of them able to crawl out, smile, Everything's a okay. Hey, kudos Hunter Holloway for building a safe car, son. I my hats off to you. And uh, and I'm gonna tell you what, the way that young man handled that instant, I could only hope I could handle it as well as he did. You know, if if anybody needs to learn something, hey, we all need to learn something. But I learned something last night. Shannon did too, of how to handle yourself in that situation. He never got upset, he never got mad, he, you know, and I could just, and look, this is probably, this is the third or fourth time that car's been out since he built it new, and he built it himself. This ain't no bought car, this ain't, it's a home-built car that he built himself. And, and for him to smile, because 
Shannon's okay and, and he's okay. And man, I'm gonna tell you what, he showed us a lot of maturity and a lot of class. A lot of class. And mom and dad showed a lot of class. I learned a lot from that family last night, I'm gonna tell you. That I'm gonna take forward, I promise you I am. I just hope I can act like they can in that instant. I ain't making no promises. I'm gonna try. I don't give up as I used to, but you know, it's frustrating. It is. And, but boy, I tell you what, they, they've got a piece about them that, that everybody should have. And he look, they look at it in the right way. Hey, you know, we're not racing for a living. We're doing it because we love it. And at the end of the day, if you can go home and you're safe, if you can go home and you love them, that's what counts, guys. That's, that's what really counts. And don't try to win the race on the first lap. Nobody wins on the first lap, especially the heat race. Come on, guys. Ain't no need in taking unnecessary risks on the first lap of the heat race and, and turning people. I know they're slower than you. Be patient. Get into turn three and four. Get below them. Pass them there. Don't hook them on the straightaway, guys. God. Anyway. Back to the valley. I plan on going up there, but after after last night, I probably won't go back to race. So it, it's the same old, same old. Hollering and cussing and drinking going on. And and look, I don't drink it. And if you want to drink, that's fine with me. I I've drank beers. I have. I'm not downing it. I'm just saying, if you're gonna call your track a family function. And, and welcome kids, welcome families. Then don't let people walk around with open beers, guys. Put in the cup, show some respect. Cussing, fighting, I don't care nothing for that. That's not me, that's not who I am, that's not my family. And, and I certainly ain't taking my grandkids around it. So if you're gonna run your track like that, you won't see any of us, and that may be good for you. You may not like us, and that's okay too. I don't care. I don't know why you wouldn't, but I don't care. Because, you know, I try to do everybody right and fair. I don't talk about nobody behind their back. But, you know, those of you that do, <laughs> I I feel sorry for it. But anyway, side the point, that, that's what I saw at the track last night. And I'm gonna tell y'all another thing that I saw at the track last night. I saw people spin people I'm talking about getting the back of them in the turn and turn them. Now that person that got turned got put back in their spot, but the person that turned them got put right behind them on the lineup to refire. I always thought the person that caused the caution went to the rear. That's what they say in the driver's meeting. And believe it or not, I wasn't in their driver's meeting, but I'm sure that's what they said in their driver's meeting. But guys, you're going to make rules go by it. That's all I'm going to tell you. I got sent to the rear of that track many times to help. I wouldn't even be the guy that calls the caution. G12's out there. Put Galloway in the rear. We like watching him come from the back anyway. <laughs> that's fine with me, but that's another reason. Favoritism. Man, you ain't going to have but one or two cars racing with you each week. Your count is getting lower and lower. And it all comes back to favoritism. Quit having favorites. If you want more cars to show up, if you want a street stock class that's got 13, 15, 18 cars in like we did a year, two years ago, don't allow it to be one man's track. Make that man earn the damn track. That's all I want to tell you. Don't give it to him on a platter because of what I saw last night, hell, he can't take it on his own. I'm just calling it like it is. He can't take it on his own. So make the man earn it. Quit your favoritism, tracks. Uh, but anyway, that's what I wanted to do. Check in with y'all. I'm uh, fixing to get to work on the car. Try to uh, put some scales under it. Now, once I put them under it, I don't know what the hell to do. Never weigh the car out, but I'm gonna put them under it. I'm gonna hook them up and I'm gonna look at it. 
So some of y'all guys will be getting a call in a minute because I got some questions. Hey, appreciate y'all watching. Uh, follow us on Facebook. Subscribe on YouTube. Bring somebody else in with you, baby. Thanks.